Hey, what's up? Today I will show you how to create a trending Instagram video. It's a free frame, so I will show you some of the reference. You can get the link from my description. So based on this inspiration, we tested some of the video short. So here the problem the walking space you need more walking space so consider that and this is a second shot so here the problem it's a more close-up shot so you will not proper track so try to our close-up shot then we tried in a wide angle lens so you'll get more uh, wide space so this is a perfect shot so the tracking everything is perfect so, And I will share some pro tips. So if you are shooting, walk like diagonal. So it will avoid frame overlap. Import your final video into After Effects. So you can just drag and drop into project window. And from project window, just drag and drop your video into this composition icon it will automatically create your video and this is 4k video so it will match the dimension also no need to worry so here we don't need it so we have to start the video from here so you can press old opening square bracket so it will cut the video it will trim the video and end we need till here only so you can press old old closing bracket so it will cut here also so now we need to adjust the position so you can move or just press the opening square bracket it will move automatically and here you can press you have to trim this area so you can press n on sh uh, keyboard it will change the working area then right click on here and trim comb to work area so it will trim exactly what your video have now these are the basics of after effects now anyway you can change the quality into custom this is always better so if you make it to full because right now i am using 4k video so it's too heavy to gpu previews so you can use custom for better faster gpu faster previews so anyway select your video and go to animation and track camera so it will start tracking your video and it will take time it depend on your video quality video dimension means video resolution and video length and your system performance also it will take your time so after five minutes or ten minutes you will get the uh, final result 3d camera tracking so I am going to just track just increase the tracking point size so here you can see that lot of tracking points because this video is perfectly tracked you can see the tracking points are perfectly matched so if you right click here any tracking point and create text and camera you will get a text and they will create a camera also so if you move your slider you can see the text is properly tracked and if you want you can go to video and click on the camera tracker and add another text and right click and and add another text see it's look like this so anyway now we are going to add our freeze freeze frames on the same area so here first find the good poses see here uh, you can use these i think mm, this is but this is better so for better just add a marker you can press the star button on keyboard so that's for that's more better in future also it's very easy to you see your workflow so and here add another marker and here add another marker so star is a shortcut for creating a marker or right click and you can add a marker 
so anyway now we are going to export these frames so if you hold the shift key and if you move the slider it will snap into that marker so anyway you have to export these all and go to composition same frame as photoshop layer so you have to save your frames as a photoshop layer each and every poses go to composition save as for photoshop layer and photoshop layer and photoshop layer anyway go to your folder and open your file this file in photoshop and now we are going to do to remove the background that's it you know the tool uh, you can use pen tool either selection tool or some other quick selection or mag lasso tool any tool you can use so here I'm going to try you can use this magnetic lasso tool that's more better and here you can use quick selection tool so it's very easy and it's too fast but the accuracy is very less compared to other tool so after selecting select on the click on the select and mask and use the refine edge you can key out your hair properly so here you can change your view method into overlay i think overlay is more better and just key out your hair and edges nicely so see the problem a quick selection is not a good one and you can adjust the radius and smooth and further at the end you have to change into output to layer mask then press ok that's it so you can save control s just press the control s or go to file and save so it will save in the same photoshop file now i will show you how to do it with magnetic lasso tool this is one of my favorite so if you are using magnetic lasso tool it will more accurate see you will get the more accurate uh, cutout so try to use a pen tool or magnetic lasso tool now selected now go to select and mask and refine edge your hair and your edges and increase the radius and adjust the smooth and feather and contrast everything then output to layer mask that's it see everything is done now do it in other poses also so if you if you don't know how to do this you can watch a lot of youtube other tutorial so anyway open your old photoshop file into premium pro project window just drag and drop now you have to replace these frames so just import just drag and drop the first psd into timeline and you can see this is our photoshop file and you have to before make it to 3d you have to change the uh, anchor point into the bottom of your legs so it's easier your, your workflow it's easy while if you convert into 3d that's why so anyway just change into 3d so you cannot see your file here because too far so you have to move into the 3d position so go to camera tracker and click and right click nearby any tracking point and create an error because if you go to the transform you will get the position of this placement so just press the ctrl c and back to photoshop photoshop layer and press ctrl v just paste into the position value so you will get the exact you can delete this null track uh, it will move into exact position you press the yes button and scale it and press the r button and you can rotate your and you can rotate your your frame and match the frame into the exactly like background and here before you can adjust the orientation or xyz rotation either or the same same means almost there's a difference so uh, you have to adjust your photos like this so here it, it will confuse you so there's a technique go to fx and generate 
and add a fill layer fill effects into your photoshop file and just reduce the opacity into 50 or 60 so now you can see your background and you can see your cutout also now match the cutout exactly like uh, like the background the video see you can match like this now you can increase the scale and rotation if you press shift r and if you press the shift s you will get both keys at a time so adjust the scale change the rotation value orientation value make it proper match that's it see i think it's almost matched here only some problem so you can work uh, adjust the scale and adjust the rotation so once you are done with the first frame the next frames are very easy because you will get the technique which values you have to adjust i think this is perfect now you can just turn off the or you can delete the fill or you can just turn off the fill effects now see it will properly track in your 3d space so the problem after this we don't need to show this so at this frame if you can press page up to go back the one frame or you can remove this is a shortcut alt square bracket is a shortcut for cutting your video we already talked about the beginning of this video add your second photoshop file and change the anchor point and add a fill color and go to video and create a null on the same position and copy the position and paste into the photoshop PSD file and change the orientation and scale that's it see and here do it in every the third one go to the camera tracker and uh, right click on any point nearby tracking point and create a null and copy the position value paste into the photoshop file and adjust the orientation add a fill layer that's it and do it in every frames so it's very easy actually the thing is you have to shoot some videos that's it so here i will tell you some technique if you press uh, see the problem uh, just change the auto orientation into camera see now you have to adjust again see so it will always orient into your camera see so the artwork always uh, facing into your camera see sometime that will help you and here and the last frame so do the same thing no need to explain again we already done lot of so just match the video. that's it so you're almost done now add some color correction and good bgm so you will get a nice bgm in music but that's my favorite sites so this is the video this is your trending final output now you can export the video composition add to render queue here i used some plugin to export so here you can use cube time i used this after effects codec mp4 it's a plugin so here it's very easy so you can use uh, cube time and you can export the video instead of uh, after effects codec and I'll tell you the problem. The problem is very high file if you are using the quick time. So you can use this handbrake to reduce your file size after exporting. So you can use see this handbrake. Uh, if you are using quick time and the file size might be 500 MB or 1 GB. So you can drag and drop your uh, that 
exported one GB file into here and you can export again. So it will reduce your file size. So hope you enjoy. See you.